It resonates with me because of uh, someone I knew from the Second World War, who had been um, shot down with a fleet air arm, I think, and terribly burnt. He would come and visit. He was a friend of my parents. And um, it was one of those strange things, because I really looked forward to seeing him, because he was a kind of a, a hero of the family, because I think he was, he was decorated, and he'd been wounded in the war. And in those days, of kids growing up, that was... Mm. Um, it wasn't just footballers who were the heroes, it was those mm. people still, you know, it, 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 um, it lasted. So when he came, we looked forward to it, but there was a problem. He had this terrible, one side of his face had, um, was very, very smooth. You describe it amazingly in your, in your book, but it's something to do with the fact that the eyes don't seem to sit back in the head anymore, uh, in his case, mm -hmm. and that the skin um, looked as thin as rice paper. And after I forcing myself to look at something else, you know, look, look something, you know. so I did for a bit, but inevitably, you know, I was just drawn back to it. And I suppose it was the story of what had happened to him, which I didn't know. Mm. In a way, I, I was asking myself, how did this happen to you? And when I read your, your book, what was interesting is that he, he in a sense, the person who he, who he was was hidden behind his wound. Because, of course, not being looked at is just as sort of peculiar as being stared at. I think they pre I think he preferred, I never asked him, but mm. I think he preferred being looked at mm. and people being fascinated rather than this awful, we're not going yes, to... Yes, averting your eyes and the English always wanting to be so nice and yes. sort of do the right thing and often that will just come down to let, pretend it never happened. Yes, we're good at that, we're really good yeah. at that actually. Yeah.